I just pulled in a Walmart parking lot. I got 20 bucks. The goal is to go in here, get some ultralight gear, ultralight lures. I already have the rods, I already have the line. I need $20 worth of ultralight lures that will catch me a variety of fish. So we're gonna go in here, see what all I can get. Let's see, we got a lot of different small lures, which we might come back to these. A lot of jig heads, little panfish kits. We can get these things, but I like to start out with something that I'm a little more comfortable with. We gotta start out with a trout magnet. Now the trout magnet kit, I like this kit right here, but it's $13. A lot of stuff in there. We'll just go with a pink one. We got two jig heads and like seven lures. One more color. Yeah, I'll just go with the chartreuse, I guess. So we got four jig heads. That's uh, four dollars. I want to pick up these bobbers. I think they're gonna help me out where I go. So we're up to six dollars. Let's go with that one right there, three dollars. So uh, we're about at nine dollars right now. So we got with tax, we got about ten dollars left to buy a few more things. This right here is actually pretty much all I need. Like this is a good start right here. But we got ten dollars to buy a couple more things. So I'm gonna look around and pick out a see what else we can get that'll kind of add some variety to our lures. thinking about it, I think we definitely need to have some 116th ounce jig heads. We got the 164. We need something just a 116th and a little bit heavier in case it's windy or we need to go a little deeper. So let's just get these right here. Three dollars for uh, ten. I think uh, I think we're gonna go with these. It's uh, could be enough for one more pack. I think these are pretty good size, but not too big. Well, this is like kind of over here out of the way. I couldn't find any more. Like, there's, I feel like there's a lot of stuff missing. Where's all the in-between things? So we're gonna pick up these uh, crappie magnets. We got the trap magnet, these are bigger. And um, this will be good, kind of in-between size. So let's see what we got. We got, a, I say a good variety. We got jig heads, trout magnets, but they're lures. We got these little like, um, bass crappie lures, crappie magnets, one small rooster tail, a bobber to kind of float some of these things. And uh, let's go see uh, how much uh, money we're up to. Well, of course this doesn't have a stain on it. Sweet. Somehow we came in under budget with a couple of dollars left over. Didn't even spend it. I just, I don't know. I could have bought something else, I guess. Two ultralight rods. Actually, both these rods have um, braid on them. So I might have to retie my leader lines. I got my lures and um, this may be the only place we fish or I may hop around, but the water looks like it's backed up from a beaver dam. And this little creek can have a lot of different fish in there. So um, we're gonna, I'm gonna get one rod with a trout magnet probably started. One rod with a little bit bigger lure. And, uh, or the inner line, I don't know. We're gonna go through our lures so we wouldn't catch. Guess it's a stick. Oh yeah, this thing casts pretty good. Don't gotta make real long casts. Looks a little deep over there on that channel. Got a bobber and the 1 16th ounce jig head. Nothing there. 
Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, there is. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Just got a crappie. Dude, first cast. So, this isn't the first place I went to. This, ooh, this fish is cold. <laughs> I went up this creek and fished for about 20 minutes. Didn't get a bite. Um, so I drove about, like, it's like three miles down to where I'm at right now. Oh, figured I could be getting another bite pretty quick. Well, that was a little disappointing. Cut one crappie first cast. Fished another 20, 30 minutes. Nothing. Not a bite. Let's go somewhere else. What y'all doing, booties? Huh? What y'all doing hanging out here? You dumb? There you go. Oh, oh, sorry. Shocked him. <laughs> I shocked him when I get out of the truck. These dogs were just roaming around in the parking lot. Uh, see if we can catch some fish. I may have a little bit of leftover biscuit. Hold on, hold on. They're back. Okay, there you go. There's a little bit for you. Oh, he caught it in his mouth. Ready? All right, that's all I got. I ate the other half, sorry. Well, what's going on is I've been to five spots and I've caught one fish and that's the only bite I've got. I haven't got a bite from anything. But my buddy Catfish and Chris is at a spot. He's wearing them out and it's probably the last place I've caught fish at. I was just trying some new stuff, but it's not really about the lures. It's about the place today, it seems like, because I can't get anything. So we're heading there. He says he's catching them and uh, we're going to go right on them, hopefully. All right, we're here. This guy, this guy's in there catching them. We gotta get there quick. Can't even run. Save me some. I'm like, that's where I was catching the other day. I was like, I had like six, seven casts in a row. There's a fish. Good, good. Yeah. What's up? That's why I brought the trout magnet. Now I might throw a little bobber on there and see what it, how it works because it's a. Uh, Wind's blowing me pretty good down there. That's kind of cool. Oh, go. Yeah, Bobber helps me sit over there. Now, I didn't want to catch these tiny ones, but I'll catch anything now. Now that I've been jumping around, I ain't gonna get nothing. There's, man, there's so many bluegill. The amount of little bluegill hair has got to be just... Bluegill and green sunfish and warmouth. Like let's see, what all have I caught today? Oh, there we go. Crappie. What's that? Oh, that's something different. What's that? A little crappie? I caught crappie, red ear, bluegill. Uh, I think largemouth or spotted bass one or two. All right, there's a couple fish on the trout magnet. Let's switch to something else. So I already caught a fish on this. I caught the crappie. We're gonna try again before we go to something else. It's the one sixteen thousand shake head. Uh, that the ashes in there. Something like that. What is this? What? Big warmouth. Oh, look how I snagged him. You snagged him in the gill. That's a red ear. A Wait, red ear? what is oh, this? That is a warmouth. Oh, warm warm how in the world did? He just swiped at it. How have I not caught this guy? That is a huge war mouse. How pretty that thing is. I don't know how I got him in the gill. Yeah, like right in the side of the gill. <laughs> That's like a one in a million. <laughs> it felt huge. I was like, what is that? He's so colorful. He looks like he's not... Well, the water, I guess, has gotten a little clearer. Maybe, but... Here's a war mouse. You never know, you gotta go, you gotta cast. Oh! Oh my! Woo! I got a giant crappie! 
Dude, your thing's like 11 inches, 12 inches long, probably. That's a beater there. <laughs> I fished it a little bit slower in this little area. I just kind of, that's, uh, that's the difference. I think sometimes that little heavier jig head, like changing it up, you're a little bit different volume. Man. Good thing Chris is here. You can get him to take pictures, you know. It's one thing he's good for. It's one thing. All right, let's get this guy back in there. Oh, yeah, show off. Okay, well, I wasn't sure I was going to get anything big enough to eat these lures, but now after catching that crappie, we're going to th throw around this uh, Strike King Mr. Crappie Lure. It's actually not that big. It's a real fat and got a nice little tail. We're going to put it on the 116th ounce chick head. This is one of my favorite colors, this uh, crazy chicken color or whatever. I just, I love this. I got a little fish biting at the tail of it. Oh, oh, what in the world? How did I get him hooked? How did this little dude get hooked? They're just eating at it. He bit at it and I hooked him through the bottom jaw. Well, I caught a fish on that lure. We'll try it with a little bit more. What it? What are you at? How many subscribers? 5,000 something? Oh, gotcha. Get at you little bluegill. Yeah, this little lure gets gets them easy. That's why I like trout magnet. If you're trying to multi-species and you're throwing something big, you gotta go really small. And this little bobber's helping out, so. Yeah, like even the one. That makes a big difference. What was it, the uh, Bobby, not Bobby Garland, the uh, mini trout magnets. Yeah. Like, you, if you're just a bass fishing channel, it's hard to, like unless you just start and, you're, and you just like hit this groove where you catch a bunch of fish. Oh, what's that? Big old wheel. Uh, I don't know what that is. I think it may be a, yeah. I think he's a part bluegill, part, I don't know. He's got a big mouth. Part radiator, maybe? Something different. It just looks a little different. It's there. It's right there. It's not even hooked. Nope, oh, some kind of hybrid. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, go check out Chris's channel. Me and him fish a lot, and I'm glad he called me. He put me on in the spot to catch fish because I caught nothing, and he's like, "Hey, they're biting over here. It's nice, to, nice of your friends to share." And I uh, came over here and caught some fish. Didn't catch a ton of fish, and that wasn't the goal. The goal was just to spend twenty dollars at Walmart. I, I only spent seventeen dollars. I saved money. You saved hundred bucks. I, I can still go buy more lures, but I didn't even use them all. I used a few different lures, and we caught fish, and I had fun time. And that's sometimes that's how easy it is. So go get you some little lures, go catch some fish. Thanks for watching.